I think this is the only spot on the whole island where ginger root pops up. So that's also kind of an issue that I'm worried about. I got four. Yeah, and that's what I got yesterday. So I got four yesterday. I got four today. The only reason I got another one is because I killed something. Maybe it was a tiger slime and it dropped one. What is up, my pylons? It's me, Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I am back with another episode of my Stardew Valley First Look Expanded Super Modded Playthrough. And that's right, this is the first day ever that we're waking up on Ginger Island. There I am, right there, yay! And there's Leo, yay! And the lady's over here somewhere too, but I don't know where. Oh man, is it Marnie's birthday? It's somebody's birthday today, and I'm missing it. Oh well, we're not going back to the mainland today because we've got a quest over here that uh, says we need to get 100 ginger. We've only got 11 days left to do it. I don't think it's going to happen, but don't tell my viewers. Uh, we're going to try, though. Give it the old college try. I've got my drink right here, my handy-dandy notebook, to write down all the handy-dandy notes in a very, very sparse cabin-y thing. Well, golly! Oh, no, because I don't have a... I don't have a uh, scarecrow over here. Huh. I don't have a scarecrow, and I don't even think I have the means to make one. But let's find out. Oh, I do. I'm not just kidding. Let's make it and let's throw her right here. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Well, we've got some taro we're trying to tarorize us with. No, it doesn't come back every day. How am I supposed to get all this ginger if they don't all come back every day? Right? Like, I can get some. These guys. Oh, well, that one. Okay, okay. I didn't get three there yesterday, so maybe maybe it's like in every other day, or maybe there's just a chance that it'll show up. But I think this is the only spot on the whole island where ginger root pops up. So that's also kind of an issue that I'm worried about. I got four. Yeah, and that's what I got yesterday. So I got four yesterday. I got four today. The only reason I got another one is because I killed something. Maybe it was a tiger slime, and it dropped one. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, it did count that, so that's good. A bowl of poi and a glass of freshly squeezed mango juice. Dang. Man. That life, man. I'd live that life. I think this is the one. Oh, there are more tiger slimes up there. I need 50 more walnuts or something like that. Oh, 100 total. I'm not going to get it. I don't know where the, where they still are. Drop me a ginger, please. Nope. How about you? You got a ginger for me? You have no ginger for me, but you did have six tarot tubers, which I'm finding is less and less useful now that I can just make them all myself. And there's nothing over here. Oh, look, there looks like there might have been one there, but not anymore. And I don't think I can go this way at all. Yeah, no, 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 no. Well, I tell you what, folks, I don't think we're going to be getting all those ginger that we're supposed to get. I could go panning for gold, but I don't have my gold pan. All right, so uh, what are we going to do then? I mean, we're stuck on this stupid island. I mean, this lovely, beautiful island. If I cleared some of the trees, would that increase the chances of getting a, uh, uh, a ginger spawn? Let's do a little bit of experimenting. Mostly, I just love the fact that I can take down a tree and its stump in three swings. As long as I'm actually aiming and hitting, aiming at and hitting the uh, thing there. And if I do clear-cut this, will they grow back at all? That's an interesting experiment, too. Because if there's no trees for the uh, to, for the seeds to land, it's going to make the parrots angry, aren't they? They're not going to even let me tra trade golden walnuts anymore. I am. I'm going to cut down every tree. Just for spite. Well, let's just take another look up here at this... Uh This is the volcano. We haven't been up here in, like, forever. There's water here. Wait, what is this? Oh. I feel like I should be able to do something. Oh, I bet if I had my watering can. I bet if I had my watering can, I, I could take some water. Can you fish in this? Oh, turns out you can. What can you get? Broken glasses. Soggy newspaper. Okay, so this is where I'll get my junk if ever I need junk. It's too far. <laughs> Yeah, so okay, so we'll get trash, we'll get junk for our recycling bin back home if we ever want it, but I wonder if I could get water from here if 
I could pour it. Oh, wait. Maybe I can push this. Ah, that's like a, a Zelda, Super Nintendo Zelda thing. I could push that up there. Can I hit it with this? No. You could always move these things in, in those old games that this is styled after. Can I go here? Oh, yeah, I need to put something down there, but I don't know what. A floor plate. Darn. I bet if I had my watering can, I could pour water on here like this and then walk across or something like that. Maybe. Ah, uh, all right. I've been. I was playing a lot of Secret of Mana about a year ago. Secret of Mana is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. It is a game that was made for the Super Nintendo. Give a big like if you know that game. Leave a comment below if you remember that game. I was able to beat it uh, on an emulator, and uh, it was pretty cool. But you had there was this cool uh, whip ability we could fling the whip over and Indiana Jones your way across. Guess that's not a thing. But here, I'll show you what I did see yesterday, um, which was in our Tuesday episode, because I did see this cool uh, area that I don't think I'd seen before. It had something to do with birds. Apparently, there were some birds somewhere. Birds of the north, south, east, and west. And when the dark clouds cry, I'm assuming that means when it rains, begin your quest to seek the fabled gem birds for each day. One north, south, east, or west, arrange their gifts upon my door. I think it said door. I might have said floor. I might have said Dior. I have no idea what it said. But I, we've exhausted the ginger for today. There's no way I'm going to be able to get more. <clears throat> it's just frustrating because now I'm going to – I have to wait two more weeks for this quest to clear, and then it's all going to be a bust anyways. Um, so I'm debating, should we just go back to land today? And then how – I don't understand how I'm able to get – there's just all these golden walnuts everywhere. Like, I feel like you could spend every day here and still not get any of them. Well, those, those little seahorses things. I don't think I've seen those before. So I guess we'll do some fishing today to kill the day. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of a bummer. Um, uh, oh, boy. That one jumped up a little faster than I thought. Uh, there it goes. Yay. Oh, it's just a tuna. I've gotten tuna for days on the mainland. I want one of those seahorse things. They look cool. A little, maybe a little bit more likely now. I swear I'm going to... I've had this thought multiple times. Ooh, don't eat the lionfish. Oh, you can eat the lionfish and you get energy and health. I feel like that's the opposite of what would really occur if you ate a lionfish. I mean, I'm no, I'm no like doctor or nothing, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be bad news if you eat a lionfish. Oh, they should have called this place Parrot Island. It's not Ginger Island. You only get four ginger a day. Ah, fish juke me. Fish really juke me. Fish juke me twice. Oh, cause it's a flounder. He hangs out on the bottom. A Luna lose. I oh no! All of the um, all the seahorses are gone. I don't see any more in here. Uh huh. I see what you did there, but not today. A sea sponge. Okay. Oh, we got ourselves a feisty one here. Holy cow! Um, I'm actually a little bit concerned that I'm gonna lose it. I'm not gonna lie. And, and this is after getting a chest. Oh, my gosh. We're really getting... Oh, my gosh. How long has it been since we've ever lost a fish, even? Oh, my gosh. No. No. Come on back. Come on back to me. Come back to me. Oh, my gosh. We're going to lose it. We're going to lose this fish. Go faster, bar. The bar doesn't want to go faster. Okay. We're up in the green. Well, we're halfway there. That's not really better. Ah. Uh... Okay, so I've, I learned that trick. If you let it bounce off the top and then let go, it'll drop faster, and sometimes it's the only way to catch the fish. Same way as when you bounce it off the bottom. It's the exact same thing, but off the top. Oh, I thought it was going to dive again. Oh, holy cow, that was a tricky one. A shiny Lunaloo. And we got a Geode, too, for our troubles. Oh, boy, that was... Uh, whew. We've got to wipe off the brow after that one. Um, Wow, okay, so... I have gotten some good fish, which is a good thing, I guess. But we're not quite done yet. Anyway, 
Any, that's right. That's what I was going to say. I have had the thought many a time while fishing in Stardew that I'm going to wear out the left mouse button on my mouse really quickly because that's the one that, you know, you press. For those of you who are on console or maybe have never played the game, that's the one that you press to make the green bar go up and then you release it to make it go down. But of course, as as we've been doing since the Atari and Commodore 64 and Magnavox Odyssey, as you know, the harder you press the button, the faster it responds. So, uh, yeah, that's why, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the left mouse button has gotten worn out on this. Uh, this is actually the second mouse I've had since I've bought this computer, too, so. Um, maybe I'm not far from the truth, actually. <laughs> oh, stay. Stay. Stay, 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 stay here for a while. I will take songs that I did not make up for a thousand, Alex. Or... Who is it? Mayim, right? Isn't that who does it now? I don't remember. We're, I'm almost never home at the 7 o'clock hour anymore. Oh, that was another shiny Lunalu. What do you know? Does It, it was the same one? It gold. Got gold shiny Lunalu on that. So I have not been able to watch um, Jeopardy in a very long time, which is a real bummer for me because I love Jeopardy. By the way, this is this episode, this episode of Fishing, the second half of this episode anyway, is going to our dear follower, Jay Raff who I have to tell you is uh, one of my oldest and truest pylons and always is uh, commenting down below and he is always um, giving me great insight into the game and the videos that I make so that I can make them better for you. Uh, and he mentioned last week in the comments about wanting to see a little bit more fishing and how he enjoys watching me do the Stardew fishing. Maybe because it is kind of cathartic to watch the fish, the bar go up and down and stuff like that. I'll give you that. It's like a lava lamp, you know? Oh, speaking of lava lamp, I, if you ever find yourself in the Boston area, there's also one in Salem, like the Witch Trials area, uh, just north of Boston. Oh, we got perfect and the chest. That's right. That's how we do. Um, there's a place called uh, the Boston Beer Works in the city, or uh, Salem Beer Works right there on Route 1A next to the Witch Museum. No, Pirate Museum, next to the Pirate Museum. Yes, there's a Pirate Museum in Salem, Massachusetts. And, uh, and they sell a blueberry ale with whole blueberries in the ale like brewed right with them and everything they don't add them later it's just it's it's it, okay so it's pretty incredible but as they sit on the bottom the carbonation builds up on the outside of it like it does with your straw and then the straw f floats to the top not in your beer obviously in your soda Duh. and uh and so the blueberries get all this um all this ca uh, carbonation the bubbles on it and they float to the top and then they pop because of the surface tension at the top and they sink back down to the bottom and it is like having a lava lamp for a drink Except it tastes way better, and it's actually, it's not just a gimmick, it's actually a fantastic ale. Um, although everything they do there is fantastic. There's steak tips to die for. Now, granted, I haven't been there in like 20 years, but um, at least 20 years ago it was, oh, I got a Rodney something or other autographed photo. Sweet. <laughs> so if you ever find yourself in the, in the uh, greater Boston area, the 495 corridor, Definitely do yourself a treat and uh, stop there. I personally always like the burgers. I, I mean, steak tips are nice and all, but if I'm going to go to a beer place, I want to have a burger with my beer. So I get a Fenway burger or a red, a green monster burger. It's all sorts of, they're all, they're all themed after like Boston sports because it's in Boston. So what do you expect? So go Red Sox. Go Sox. That's what I say. Not a bad haul, if I say so myself. Got five of the, five of the shiny Lunaloos. Got a, did get an Iridium quality uh, Lunaloo and baby Lunaloo. Bunch of lionfish, a couple of sea sponges. We'll bring those back tomorrow. I think we'll spend one more night here on the island and uh, get some ginger. See if we get more than four ginger tomorrow and then go from there. Um, I don't know that that's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, I'll be honest. But uh, in the meantime, you know what I am going to do? is I'm going to put all fish things here. And that includes trash and shells. And all the other stuff I'm going to put in the other container just to keep it all together. And let's do the muscle. And that'll hopefully... Yeah, we got some things here. So at least, at least there's a little bit in here. And I'm going to keep one warp totem here total. And then I should be good to go. All right. Well, thanks for being here for us today. 
I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as I did. I also realized I am, like, just about out of energy, so... Good thing I, uh, stopped when I did. Oh, I can turn that on. Oh, that looks so much nicer. Oh, I could keep food in here. No, I can't. That's just a cooking thing. Wait, I can't... No, I can! I can keep food in here! What? We're gonna have to try that sometime. Chuck, would you do me a favor? Would you, first of all... We're trying to get to 750 subscribers at, at, at the moment on our way to four digits, the thousand subscriber e thing. And uh, if, if you are feeling so compelled, could you do me a favor and hit that like, like button below? Wow, words. Could you hit that subscribe button? Most importantly, though, could you leave a comment below? Because I'd really like to get to know you better. But after you do that, check out the videos you see on your screen. There's something there for you. There's something there for everybody. I think YouTube's algorithms are probably smarter than I am in knowing what you want to know and watch. And they think you want to watch it, too. So go ahead and check them out. As always, my pylons, though. Last but not least, stay safe and be well.